Hey guys, how you going? It's uh, who is Sancho here? Um, just thinking of doing a uh, review on the uh, new King Chrome Contour series. It's uh, just my honest opinion of uh, the tool chest roll cab and all the tools that come with it. Um, I got the uh, 208 piece just because um, starting out. So it has pretty much all of your basic uh, tools that you need to get started off in a workshop. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So uh, first up, in the top, you've got all your uh, all your sockets in here. They're pretty good, except uh, just some of the workmanship, like on this uh, 32 mil up here. Just some of the uh, chrome is actually starting to come off, and this is these are all brand new tools as well, and they haven't been used yet, so. Might look at taking them back and getting them uh, replaced, but uh, oh, pretty nice sockets and ratchets. Um, they kind of do fit pretty nice in your hand, and you can also uh, replace all of the uh, ratcheting system in here as well if it ever uh, decides to screw up on you. Okay, next drawer. So up in here, I've got all my uh, bit sets. Uh, some of this stuff doesn't actually come with the 208-piece uh, kit, so um, I actually added the uh, mini ratchet set and the uh, bit set. That's, uh, that comes in pretty handy when you're um, working on street bikes, like I do a little bit at work. Um, that's just some cheap bit set, but you know, you can never have uh, too many bits. Um, the Torque Master bit set, that comes with the uh, 208 piece. Haven't used it yet, but I'm sure I'll get around to using it. And middle, that's usually, you know, if you've got any important paperwork at work. Um, over here, just got magnet, feeler gauges for valves, little mirror and a little torch. Okay, up here we've got the... Uh, Digital verniers, if I can get them open. Okay, that's the uh, King Chrome digital verniers. They're the 150 mil ones. Uh, they were they were a pretty good purchase. Uh, they've got auto off and all that sort of stuff. Um, they did not come with the uh, with the tool kits. So I had to get that separately. Um, just cheap, super cheap auto brake bar. I've got a couple of cobalt tools in here as well as the King Creme stuff. Um, cobalt is, it's pretty good value for what you pay for. And you can get it from Masters and lots of stuff here in Australia. Uh, we also have the impact screwdriver that will save you quite a lot on uh, motorcycles or anything automotive really. Stops you from stripping stuff. Okie dokie, just, I've got a couple of uh, spare drawers in here, and these are all of the uh, screwdrivers and picks, um, the, all of the King Chrome stuff that all comes in the, um, in the 208 piece kit, it's pretty nice, you know, feels like you could get quite a bit of torque into them. Um, the Stanley Fat Mac stuff, that's pretty good. It saved me quite a bit um, on some hard to reach places with the uh, really long heads on it. And it's ratcheting as well. And you've got your uh, King Chrome picks as well. Come in handy for uh, taking out pistons and uh, all that sort of stuff. Getting out all the circlips. Okie dokie. And now we've got um, pliers and stuff. So all these pliers come with the uh, kit. These are just all that I've added, added from all my other tools. So cobalt stuff, you notice it's got um, it's got a pretty nice chunky grip on it. If anything, I reckon that the uh, cobalt ones are probably a little bit better than the uh, king chrome ones. They just feel way better in your hands. And circlip pliers as well. And all your spanners. Um, they're pretty good quality. Um, if anything, everything's made in a uh, Taiwan these days with King Chrome and some of the other brands. 
So, but they're still really good quality stuff. And that also comes in the uh, whole toolkit. And just got uh, Allen keys in here. So these are the ones that come with the kit. Then I just added the uh, the socket head ones for um, for when you have to talk down certain things. They come pretty handy. And just hammers and mallets. That's pretty bare at the moment. Another bare one. Another bare one. And another bare one. <laughs> Okay, in here we've got um, just torque wrenches and stuff like that. So the King Chrome stuff is uh, it's pretty good. It's what the uh, Yamaha factory team uses. So uh, Craig Dak Racing, they've got a deal with um, with King Chrome, and you know if it's good enough for them, you know it's good enough for me. So it's all pretty good quality stuff. And the uh, certifications on them, they're um, they're pretty well within their. Uh, the torque range and then down the bottom just got the uh, hacksaw so yeah um pretty easy to lock up um only thing you might find is if you get one of these brand new you actually find the uh, top of them actually likes to clunk quite a bit so right now it's doing it pretty smooth but um yeah you'll find all of these all up here, it would just start to clunk pretty bad. So uh, all I did was just take some WD-40 to every joint up here and on the back here, and that should uh, make it make it run a little bit more smoothly. Um, when you first get this brand new, you'll have to put on a uh, you have to put on all the wheels and stuff like that, and put on the handles. So it's a uh, pretty good idea to have someone to help you out. Oh, also, you've got a um, little workbench here as well on both sides. So that comes in pretty handy. Pretty handy when you just want to lay some tools somewhere. You know, put a ratchet down there while you're working on something pretty quickly. Um, the, whole, uh, the whole lot locks up pretty easily. It's pretty secure. Nothing's going to fall out on you. And uh, you've got the locks, the secure lock grips. And see, when you've got the um, when you've got the top down on this, it actually locks everything for you. Then it unlocks now. So yeah, um, even the middle locks as well, even though it doesn't have a slider on it. But yeah, it's it's pretty good for what you pay for. Um, it's obviously not going to be any any snap on kind of quality but it's it's pretty I wouldn't say pretty close to it but it's it's quite a decent uh tool chest roll cabin set of tools for what you pay for it and they're, they're relatively cheap for what they are they're quite a good quality uh kit so uh thanks for watching this review guys hope you enjoy and hope I can uh help you pick pick a set of tools okay thanks see ya